Hey folks and welcome to Tully River Quail. Uh, thanks for joining me. Um, wanted to go over with you my winter watering system. I'm just putting it in because it's getting time for the weather to change. And I wanted to show you this is my testing of it. And what we have is a pump that is on a half inch um, slip fitting that slips on and off at the junction so I can pull this out in the summertime and put it back in the winter just by twisting it and uh, not having to thread anything or whatever um, I put the pump in under the water turn it on run the pump to make sure that it's primed and then I connect it to the connector over here just by pushing it on I place the inlet valve above the bucket heater so that keeps everything warm and draws from the warmest part keeping the circuit of plumbing below where all the cages are gets that and keeps that warm so that nothing will freeze up in the nipples or anything you also see that I have a um, float switch installed on the return so that I can fill this up from the spigot that I have in line through switching off the Y valve and I keep the Y valves both open with the spigot off when I'm running this cycle but when I want to fill it up I shut off the inlet and just leave the return valve open and turn on the spigot and this float valve will only allow it to fill up and it won't allow this to overflow so that's just a way we keep it going um, you'll see that the, there's a little white plug adapter here and that is a temperature switch that turns the pump on and off at turns it on when it gets to 32 turns it off when it gets above 45 I believe they say 45 50 it's a variation but uh, that's something that's necessary with this circulation pump this is a 2.5 gallon per minute pump so it's not that high a pressure because if you had too high of a pressure going through the nipples they wouldn't open and the birds wouldn't be able to the quail at least wouldn't be able to push the plunger to get the water out now you also notice that the bucket heater does not have that little widget on there and that's because that is incorporated into the design of the bucket heater. So if you're going to use a circulation system without a bucket heater, you're going to need that little temperature controller, unless you want to just keep it running all the time, which you don't have to. Um, one thing you need to do is make sure that that pump is primed. There's no air in it or else it won't run effectively. You also see that I have a little hose with a little screen on the end just to prevent any debris from getting in there and we clean that really well when we put it up for storage and uh, throughout the year. Now I can take that pump out whenever I want to just by slipping it right off that fitting and do any maintenance on it or replace it if I need to um, quickly which I always have a replacement of this and a replacement pump on hand just in case that that's needed so just wanted to share with you that actually working and we just did this inside of a cooler that has worked well for us for the last few years and we have had no issues with it I also have that whole system running off two solar panels down in my Bob White setup way down there which I've probably shown you in other videos. So this can run off solar if you have enough batteries. We have a two, uh, 200 amp hour battery bank down there. So anyway, enjoy the beautiful fall because soon it is going to be winter. Stay free, Tully River Quail, over and out.